Bringing you the latest news from Bucks County, this is the Courier Times Update with Trish Hartman. This Courier Times Update is brought to you by St. Mary Medical Center in Langhorne, PA. It's your health. Expect more. Hi everyone, I'm Trish Hartman with the latest news from Bucks County for Thursday, February 19th. An Army veteran was honored in Northampton for confronting a man who was dressed as a soldier but hadn't served in the military. Ryan Burke received an award Wednesday night from the Northampton Marine Corps League at the Trihampton Rescue Squad in Richboro. He had a ranger scroll on, which means he's like a special operations guy and just his body type wasn't really fitting, the, you know what I mean? And then I got a little closer and I saw his, uh, his flag was kind of low on his shoulder and that kind of just told me something was off. And then I looked at his boots were all on blouse and um, he just looked really unprofessional. You know, like I'm sure all you guys know, you know, lost friends and stuff and it's like seeing somebody wearing that uniform and taken away from what they've sacrificed, you know what I mean? That's really got under my skin. And then when I really lost my cool was when, you know, he's claiming that He's had friends that he lost in combat and everything, and, you know, that just, like, fueled my fire. The video Burke shot of his encounter with the man has been seen nearly four million times on YouTube. The Bucks County District Attorney unveiled a new public service announcement campaign this morning at Bucks County Technical High School in Bristol Township. The goal? To stop heroin abuse. I'm a mom, and just like most moms, I worry about my child. But my worries are probably not the same as most. I'm the mother of a heroin addict. I hate that sound. It could just be a friend, or it could be the phone call I'm dreading. I never know. My eyes fill with tears, my palms are sweating, and my heart is racing. The PSAs will be used in schools and on local television outlets. A Bucks County judge forced a Warminster woman to reveal her drug source before accepting her guilty plea Wednesday. Melanie Pasden admitted her role in a man's fatal drug overdose at a Ben Salem motel. At first, Pasden refused to tell the judge who gave her fentanyl, the prescription painkiller that killed Robert Gladfelter. Once she gave up her source, the judge accepted Pasden's guilty plea to involuntary manslaughter and sentenced her to just over three to six years in state prison. And a science teacher from William Tennant High School has been named the 2015 Delaware Valley Engineers Week Outstanding Science Teacher. Ignacio Ohio has formed relationships with Fox Chase Cancer Center and Drexel and St. Joseph's Universities to help his students. My hope is that by exposing uh, my students to um, higher level uh, concepts, by taking them to dissect cadavers at, at Drexel, uh, by having them develop their own independent research and, and teaching them how to uh, write their own paper and exposing them to certain lab techniques that they're able to um, translate these into courses that they take in college and, and hopefully get inspired to um, follow a career in science. Ohio will be honored this week by the Delaware Valley Engineers Week Committee and the Philadelphia Engineering Foundation. In boys basketball, Pensbury clinched a berth in the state tournament, winning 55 to 41 over Downingtown West Wednesday. The Falcons used a strong defensive effort in the second round of the District 1 Class Quad A tournament. Seventh seeded Pensbury will travel to Methacton, the second seed in District 1, for the quarterfinals tomorrow. The second seeded Central Bucks West girls team fought for a 55 to 38 win over Council Rock North, also clinching a berth in the state tournament. West senior forward Corinne Godshall turned a three-pointed advantage into a 13-point lead in the second quarter. Nicole Munger led the Bucks with 16 points and 12 rebounds. CB West will host Upper Dublin in Saturday's quarterfinal round. Finally, today, students at one high school are spreading the message that seatbelts can save lives. Reporter Stephen G. Wan Mall introduces us to the students who are devoted to safety. These students at Truman High School want you to buckle up. We want our friends and family just to be safe on the roads. The club Students Against Destructive Decisions is serious about seatbelt safety. Kids my age are more likely to get into car accidents because they're not paying attention, they're texting, they're, they have a lot of distractions. TMA Bucks, a transportation resource in the county, is giving Truman and other schools a chance to help change that. The group kicked off its 8th annual high school seatbelt safety challenge. It's a great way for students to use peer-to-peer -peer positive influence to create change. We take one day out of the fall and um, track which student drivers are wearing their seatbelts and then we'll come back out in the spring and do that again. 
TMA Bucks is also challenging schools to make a 30-second video on teen driver safety. Truman students made their own video before the challenge and plan to make another one for the competition. I am hoping we win this. I'm hoping we win this to show we um, care about people. Since we have a lot of goofballs in our club, that they might actually take it seriously and make it a fun event, which will, you know, when you enjoy something, you tend to do better, You're more if your heart goes into it. The club of about 40 students isn't stopping there. They're making a lot of posters and we're going to be wearing our shirts at least once a week. Club advisor Jill Saul remembers the time students got a sweet treat for buckling up. One year Tasty Cake donated a number, many, many cakes, and we were able to use them as the reward. So when the kids had their seatbelts on, they got a Tasty Cake pack. Truman is one of 19 high schools in the county competing in this year's Seatbelt Safety Challenge. The school is one of a dozen making a video PSA. The winners of both challenges will be announced in May. Reporting from Bristol Township, I'm Stephen G. Winmaw. You can find all of our stories at BucksCountyCourierTimes.com or follow me on Twitter for your latest local news. I'm Trish Hartman. Thanks for watching and have a great Thursday.